Since leaving politics, Nigel Farage has taken to reading out messages on camera in return for sums of cash. It's nice work if you can get it. However, it has led to some real screamers for the ex-UKIP leader. This was Farage being interviewed on Irish TV earlier this week. Why don't you ask yourselves in Dublin a question? Why did you fight the British? Why did Irish nationalists fight the British for 500 years? 500 often very bloody, difficult years until the 1920s. What was the point of it if you're now governed by yeah, European just, I think people will That's be entertained, debate, perhaps, Nigel, to hear oh, you talking about this. And that may be too inconvenient this. for all of you in I, Dublin. Oh, I'm look, sure. Yes, of I, course. I, I know that you apologise for the birthday greeting which you delivered in the last couple of days, but I want people to see just how much you know about the history and culture on this island. Now, it's a bit early in the day, so all I've got actually is coffee, but I hope you enjoy a few pints with the lads tonight. Up the ra. Up the ra, Nigel. I mean, I, I know that you said sorry. I know yeah. you're, you get 87 quid. It's entirely within your rights to do that. I do. But come yeah, on, and I do, don't, and, and don't, I do don't try and day. lecture you the know? Irish people about the culture and history and precarious nature of peace on this island. You haven't got no. a clue. If you want to be, do you want to be an independent democratic nation or governed by foreign bureaucrats? That's the question that Ireland will ask itself. Those of you in the national media and national policies in Dublin will fight that as hard as you can because you've all benefited financially. Do the Irish people wish to be independent or not. And that is a debate that will happen in your country in the next few years. That was such a good interview. Like the way she talked to him was just so pleasant to watch. For anyone who's not For aware, up the RAR is a, is a pro IRA <laughs> um, phrase, which someone asked Nigel Farage to say. And you can guess because he's a British nationalist, he just didn't know what up the RA meant because I doubt he is the kind of guy who'd endorse the IRA. Um, Dahlia, what a great clip. Mean? What a great interview. For me, the ultimate par was actually the, look, I know that you get £87 pop yeah. and it's within your rights. It's, that was just like so shady. But honestly, first of all, what is this website? Like, I didn't know that this is what our, you know, pound shop fascists were resorting to to make a buck these days. It's pretty embarrassing. Um, but it's also, I mean, it's not surprising that he would go on with this kind of gall onto Irish TV and tell them, you know, why they're fighting the British and because, you know, if they're just going to be, uh, and also for me, it was the most illiterate part of it was actually him just saying, you know, oh, you know, you guys have benefited from being part, you know, from, from, uh, the UK for so long, but from being, and it's just like, you have no idea what you're talking about. But at the end of the day, Nigel Farage has made a long and very lucrative career out of going on TV stay, saying ahistorical nonsense and getting very little pushback, but actually having the red carpet rolled out for him by, you know, big media outlets. And I, I also think that it's so interesting the ways in which these sort of Brexit types are, are so opposed to other independence movements, you know, like Irish Unity, Scottish Independence, etc. You know, in, in 2018, Nigel Farage lambasted the EU for saying that, you know, if Ireland was united, then the north of Ireland would be welcomed into the EU. And, you know, he lambasted the EU saying, oh, you're, you're stoking Irish nationalism. And I just the idea that Nigel Farage, of all people, could accuse someone else of stoking nationalism is absolutely absurd. And it just goes to show how deeply English the sensibilities of many of these high profile Brexiteers uh, was. You know, we, we know it from the voting breakdown, particularly how Scotland and the North of Ireland um, voted in the referendum. But but actually, the ideology, the ideological framework itself is so baked in English nationalism and English exceptionalism, rather than this kind of abstract idea that every nation has a right to be sovereign. Uh, and we know that because as, you know, the Scots and as people in the North of Ireland are trying to get independence referendums, unification referendums, which is fully within their right to do, the same people who are calling for Brexit on the basis of sovereignty are in the are first in line to, to ridicule and diminish and invalidate those calls, even though I actually can't see what the difference is. The only difference is that one is actually based in in historical some some independence claims are actually based in like historical fact and historical reality, and others are based in, you know, delusions of colonial nostalgia.
just reminded me actually your focus on the the 87 pounds thing and that host saying oh it's well within your right if you make 87 pounds for your for your video apparently it's on cameo um lots of american republicans go on there for cash as well you can get paid to just say something what that made me think of though is another video i saw recently which is unlisted on youtube and features nigel farage it was uploaded five days ago and it's announcing nigel farage's new project which is to get people financial independence so it says in the blurb um that in, in this fortune and freedom program you'll get the truth about your money behind the headlines jargon and spin smart ideas about how to invest from real experts whom i trust um all of this financial advice from a guy who needs 87 quid to back the ira on camera are we gonna we're we gonna watch some of this video or show them the screen we're gonna watch some of this video let's have a look for almost 30 years, I fought a battle for us to get our independence as a country back from the European Union. It wasn't easy, but you know what? In the end, we won. Well, I'm now fighting a very different battle. It's a battle for each and every one of us to have financial independence because there are many of you out there that have given away your savings to other people to manage who've not been happy with the way in which it's been done. So what I'm trying to do is to give people knowledge to get them to understand how investments, how financial markets work. You've nothing to lose by subscribing to this. You might just learn something. You might even find yourself better protected against inflation, which is now back in our economy and is not gonna go away soon. So please, you can subscribe to this, it's free. All you've gotta to do to get a daily email from Fortune and Freedom is to click the link below. Dahlia, would you take financial advice from someone oh, no. who gets paid eighty-seven pounds, who's a British nationalist, to to endorse the IRA online? A lot of people are going to get scammed, man. <laughs> this is not cool. Not Nigel Farage joining like financial advice YouTube. That's just a dark, dark part <laughs> of the internet. Honestly, I mean, obviously, it's hilarious, and it just shows this man for what he's always been, which is a total grifter. But he's good at it. Although, is he really good at it if he's, you know, selling his soul for £87 on the internet? I don't know. <laughs> he's one of the most effective politicians that this country has had in the last 20 years. I don't think Brexit would have happened without him. But now, yeah, he is mm. now reading whatever you want him to say on the internet for £87. It doesn't <laughs> scream success to me. Mm.